Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Um, guys, in this one I am just going to continue on from my previous video um, a while ago about how to mine on um, Monero uh, XMR rig through your mobile phone. I showed you guys how to install a miner um, to mine XMR or to mine Monero. Um, on your Android phone and then obviously get paid out on that. This is going to be how to mine it directly on your computer. Um, so mining on your CPU. You can choose to mine it on your GPUs but it's not cost effective. I honestly wouldn't recommend it. As you guys can see here I'm mining in unminable at the moment just because I'm giving it a tester for some other videos. But you guys can see that um, I'm getting a little bit lower at the moment because I'm screen recording, but normally this sits at about 50 mega hash. Um, so this will be my, it's mining Ethereum at the moment. Um, it's paying me out in Shiba of any things, but um, I just have all this open to show you guys that it won't affect your GPU. So first thing you want to do is open up your internet and type in XMRig and go to xmrig.com and download All right. once that's downloaded guys it'll save into your zipped folder just extract it and once it's extracted you can open it up and you'll come to a page like this you won't have this nano one here you'll have everything else so all you want to do is just copy the pool mine example and create a new file so I'm going to create another one just for the hell of it um, and we're going to rename this video so you guys know then we're going to edit um, now it's going to pop up with a whole bunch of things and all you want to do is just get rid of them um, and then uh, sorry is it, uh, all you want to do is, I don't have the original on me, but keep the XM rig, but we do that. So once you actually get to that page, you can delete everything if you want, or you can leave it all on. Um, I'm going to, I'll just delete everything to show you guys from scratch. So you've got this new CMD folder. All you want to do is go to XM rig wizard. So I just type in XM rig wizard and it'll pop up. So even if you do XM rig wizard and it pops up here and you can open it so then you click start or new configuration so new configuration add your pool so let's go nano pool for example your wallet address and your area so I'm in Australia and my wallet address um, I will post a video shortly about how to get a Monero wallet but for simplicity sakes just open up this, open up that, open up Monero, and that's my wallet there, but I will show you guys how to create that. It's already saved, so I'm just going to click it and click Add Pool. So it pops up here. You guys can add other pools if you want, proxies, demons, whatever you want to do. Um, then go next to your backend, so you've got your CPU, your OpenCL if you want to mine on your AMD cards, and your CUDA if you want to mine on your NVIDIA cards. I do not recommend doing either of these um, because mining on your GPUs are not cost effective and you will you won't make much money if any money at all so I don't recommend doing that definitely do it only on your CPU miscellaneous it will automatically come up with a 5% donation drop that down to 1% if you really don't want to donate a hell of a lot and then go over here and then you're all set to go you can either copy all this or you can just copy this page so what I recommend doing is copying this so I go copy go back to here and paste once that's done guys you can run that and start it and you're all good to go um, I will show you what I like to do on that so for example if we close this and save and we double click that sorry about my kids in the background um, 
you'll see that it starts up um, my 12 threads on my Ryzen 5 it should pop up 12 threads this sh this will probably go to like 73 74 because we're running a Ryzen it's going to be running hot um, I'm just going to move that aside so you can see that it doesn't impact the GPU but we will let that run for a second that's as simple as it is guys to be mining on your CPU um, we're maxing out this CPU it's only a little baby one so it's not gonna be great for this um, but your GPU is still running around perfectly fine um, it is gonna make my CPU run a little bit hot you can see I've already got an accepted share here so it's already mining so new job from nano pool um, all you have to do is pick the pool that's closest to you um, and you can see my hash rate so what I'm going to do is close that let that cool down for a second um, and what we're going to do if you don't want it to run at a hundred percent of what your CPU can handle just go back and go edit come to the end here press space dash dash threads and uh, it would help if I could remember what I did uh, equals 8 there we go so go back to your where you said threads and then equal and then put how many threads you want it to use so I've got a 6 core 12 thread let's say I want it to use 6 threads I press 6 save and then go to that it'll load everything up like it did previously so I've got my 12 threads here and user profile 6 threads so it's only using 6 threads instead of the 12 uh, you can adjust that lower if you also want to go a bit lower on that you can obviously go as high as you want or as low as you want um, but essentially it's mining your mono now if we go back to this and let's say we edit this one because we're not using it and we've got our wallet address if we click copy on that and then we open up a page and we go to nano pool nano pool mono row. so we jump into our mono row, we go to our address and we paste our address there you go so you guys can see that you got mining starting um, nothing popping up yet hasn't um, found a share yet so you can see before we were nearly 6,000 this one we're 3,500 so it is less but that's sitting at 65 degrees it can go up a bit higher we'll go down a bit but that's what it'll sit at I can adjust my thread count to run it at a temperature I want I can change my settings I can change a few other things um, Ryzen's don't run too badly they just run a bit warmer than Intel but this is all you need to do to mine Monero through the XMR um, once we find a share if it's not going to take too long I'll show you guys how to do but then essentially when you get to this page it'll show you your hashes your average hash rate your balance so I've got one cent worth of XMR there, nothing that the minimum payout is one XMR. Um, so you essentially just want to keep holding that until you get your one XMR and then you can do whatever you want to do with it, um, get paid out. But you're mining there, you can go to your payments, your shares, your calculators. So you can see on the 12th of October, um, I've gotten 16 shares at the moment. Um, but we still haven't found one so I'm gonna leave it at that um, no, no, there we go accepted so we'll try and reload that no, still hasn't popped up so our hashes are showing um, and our hash rates popping up but our worker hasn't 
shown yet so give that half an hour and try again but essentially that's all you need to do to mine on your CPU if you don't want to do it so if you're not using like nice hash and quick miner and you're mining something else um, and you want to mine on your CPU as well uh, this is an easy way to do it um, yeah all right we'll leave it at that and we'll see you on the next video